Okay, hello friends. Here we are performing the practical on notch. So this is the channel, and on the side of channel here we have fixed the triangular notch. So this is the triangular notch. If you see the angle separated by this triangular notch is 90 degree, then this is the sump tank. So in this sump tank. We have already stored the water. When we start the pump with the help of this knob, then the water is moving or flowing through this pipe, and then it will become admitted into this channel. So during the flow, we can adjust the discharge or we can adjust the flow by means of this wall. So this wall is bypass wall. and this wall we can use to regulate the flow of water from this channel so this point of gauge with scale will find we can use this device for the measurement of depth of water or the height of water above the crest level this is measuring tank so we will find that this measuring tank along with piezometer with scale so this measuring tank we can use for finding the discharge of water flowing through this channel over the crest so uh, initially we have to take the reading at the crest level so you will find that the water is already touches to the crest level so this is the point this point we can say is the crest point that is the lowest point of the notch so with the help of this needle we can record the initial height or the depth of water by setting on the scale become zero so you, you will find that once the waste water will come at the crest then with the help of this pointer gauge you have to touch the pointer gauge in such a way that it should be touches to the free liquid surface and on this scale you have to set the zero reading so the meaning of this zero indicates that the water is at the crest uh, now you will find that the uh, water is flowing over the notch and the sheet of the water that is flowing over the crest this sheet of water we can call it as a nothing so this is navy that is flowing over the crest of the notch so initially we have give the water level at zero then the water is at crest level but now once the flow comes start over the notch then you find that the depth of the water over the crest becomes increases so how to measure the depth of the water so for that again we are using this pointer gauge with scale so already We have said the zero when the water level was at crest level, and now you will find that the this is the depth of water above the crest. So how to measure this depth? So for measuring this depth, we have to raise this pointer in upward direction. Yes. Come on, this will be all. Okay, now uh, you have to raise this. Point R in such a way that uh, it should be touches to the free liquid surface, and when it becomes touches to the free liquid surface, then you have to close this knob, and then with the help of this scale, you can record the height or the depth of water above the crest. So you will find that the height of the notch, height of the water level above the crest, is become four point six. 4.6 cm is the depth of water above the crest level hmm. now uh, after getting the depth of water above the crest now we have to measure the discharge of water flowing over the notch so for that we are using this discharge tank or measuring tank with this piezometer so for that we have to first close this wall so when you are closing this wall then we find that inside the piezometer the water start rising 
So on this piece of paper, you have to set the initial level and final level. Suppose here we are taking the 10 cm difference, then here suppose when the water become coming at suppose 100, then this, at this moment you have to start the stopwatch, when the water will become coming to 200, stop the stopwatch and record the time for 10 cm rise. Once you get the time, so once you get the time for 10 cm height, then we have to multiply this height with the tank area. So this area into height that you are getting the volume of water that we are collecting in this measuring tank upon time required for filling the tank from 100 to 200 that gives us the discharge. So see this figure, this figure shows the notch set up, you will find that this is the tank and this is the notch that we have fitted on the side of the tank. This is the lowest point of the notch that we call as the crest. Now here during practical we have measured the two depths, so H1 is the distance between the bottom of the tank to the crest level. And once the water becomes start flowing over the notch, then the depth of water is H2 from the tank. So for our experiment, the H1 becomes zero. Simply during practical, you have to record the gap, and by finding the gap, we get the depth of water above the crest that is high. To get the water discharge in notch, we have used this formula. So this theta is nothing but the angle that is subtracted by the notch. So for our notch, this theta is 90 degree. So directly you can put theta is 90. H is the depth of water above the crest. By putting the value of H theta and acceleration due to gravity, you can find the theoretical discharge. And by using Discharge measuring tank or collecting tank, you can find the Q actual by volume upon time. Once you get Q theoretical and Q actual for this notch, then you can find the coefficient of discharge for the notch that is CD is equal to actual discharge upon theoretical discharge.